Uncle Nuggets. It's Tuesday and ordinarily this is pop culture time, the time when I cover all the top stories that happen in media, social media, and over at your mama's house that I gave two shits about. However, the only thing that's really, really popping off right now is the debate that happened last night between Secretary Hillary Clinton and dog shit Donald Trump. I know, I know, I know, that's not objective reporting, but I'm not a reporter, so fucking deal with it. Anyway, I don't want to spend fucking five or seven minutes talking about the debate because you're gonna believe what you want to believe. If you have not seen the debate, there are clips available online. For me, Hillary was a clear winner. She was the only one that wasn't acting crazy, sniffing all the time, interrupting people, and actually spoke in specifics. I've made no bones about the fact that I think Donald Trump is crazy, but what is more important is that you use your voice. I do want to take this moment to remind you guys that it is important to register to vote. Nobody's paying me to say this every week. I just really want you to exercise your voice, even if you're going to vote for a third party candidate. And besides that, there are so many other things that are decided on an election ballot than just the presidency that affect your daily lives. So please, it's National Voter Registration Day. Register to vote. Imagine me doing this titty dance for like a minute and a half while you Google register to vote, register to vote, what? Register to vote, register to vote, what? Register to vote, register to vote, what? Put in your information. Put in the information. What? Register to vote, register to vote, what? Register to vote, register to vote, what? Okay, just keep playing that in your head because I'm tired and my back hurt. Uh, but because I didn't want to make the whole video about that stuff, I decided we're gonna be doing a Q&A. On my last video, which if you haven't seen it yet, it's me glazing up my titty chesticle area with some damn spray tan, nearly damn dying, getting a lung infection, all kinds of shit. I asked you guys in the comment section to ask me some questions that you've been curious about. Q&A time! Lyrica Budnick says, do you still hang out with Shane? P.S. I love you. I love you too, Lyrica. I don't really hang out with Shane very often. It's not because we had a fight. It's not because we don't talk or anything like that. We just live very different lives now. We're not very close to each other geographically anymore. Um, I do see him sometimes at different events. I still love him. He is literally family to me. He always will be. I think he feels the same way about me. We text sometimes. I hope that doesn't crush your spirit too much. Andrew Ivy wants to know, are you in a relationship? Yes, Andrew. If you watched all the way to the end of my last video, and actually several videos where I mentioned my boo thing, I am in a relationship with an amazing guy who makes me very, very happy. He's incredible. He's incredible and he makes me smile and he makes me talk like this. Caleb Loggins wants to know, what's your favorite part of being friends with Shane Dawson? Connor Hughes, all these questions are about Shane. Guys, stop asking about Shane. It, it, I'm, I'm so, so tired of these questions. I answer it all the time because I just don't want you to think that there's some hidden secret hatred or hidden secret conspiracy that's happening. There isn't. It's nothing special or crazy or whatever. He's my friend. I'm still his friend. I still love him. Hell, he the one paying this phone bill. That's how much of a friend he still is. Okay, so quit with your conspiracy theories. We just don't hang out a lot. Sometimes people grow in different directions. Sometimes people's lives take them in a different path. Sometimes people just don't see each other. It doesn't mean that you don't love each other, okay? Maximum Risk 2004 says, was it hard to move to the U.S. and how often do you see your family? It was hard to move to the U.S., but I also was looking forward to it. I was 18. It was that time in my life where I think we all go through that where we're feeling the urge to cut ties and we're like I want to be grown I want to be free I want to explore and I was also good starting college I wanted to just kind of move out and do my own thing so it was hard in terms of leaving my family leaving everything I knew behind back in Jamaica but it also was exciting and exhilarating because I was starting a new chapter that I'd been looking forward to my whole life so it was a mix I was incredibly homesick the first year and a half that I was here I tried to go home at least once a year sometimes it happens to be twice a year sometimes it's every two years it just depends on money and work and all the other things that affect adult decisions hashtag adulting Angel White says if you were a horse would you eat a cow then poop a rainbow um, if I were a horse, I would be vegetarian slash vegan. Probably would not be able to eat a cow then since that would be making me a meat eater. <laughs> uh, pooping a rainbow, yes! And you would eat it as ice cream, you freak. Andres Zurita says, what's your favorite TV show? I don't know. Um, me and my boo have been watching a lot of American Horror Story. I was not watching it beforehand, so now I'm getting into it. We're at season three now. 
I know we behind. Just don't, don't hate. I like Game of Thrones, though I personally thought most of last season was mm, until towards the end. The West Wing is another hugely favorite show of mine. I love the dialogue. I'm a big Aaron Sorkin fan, so pretty much anything he writes, it's like, ooh. For me, um, I like Grey's Anatomy. What y'all like? Comment below and let me know. Anne says, what's my favorite book? It's so funny because I have this bookcase behind me with about 400 books and I have two more downstairs. Anyway, my favorite book, just like my favorite TV show, varies wildly. I tend to like mystery. I've read a lot of Agatha Christie. I love some romance novels, mainly because well, who doesn't like a happy ending? You know what I'm saying? Who doesn't like a happy ending? No, not that kind of happy ending. Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier is probably one of my all-time favorite novels. It's a gothic novel set in the 1930s. Jane Eyre and Agatha Christie had a baby in a book. That's Rebecca. But I read all kinds of shit. Are y'all big readers? Comment below and let me know. Travis Cruikshanks wants to know, can I, you speak Patois? Of course I can speak Patois. I'm from Jamaica. That's that's all you talk when you're in Jamaica. I mean, obviously your level of Patois is dependent on whether or not you're, you know, educated, which part of the country you come from. Like people who come from like Manchester where my father people them come from or Clarendon where my mother be, people them come from their patois is much thicker than my own but that's just because they're my country people maybe some of them education is a little bit less but that's, that's not everybody obviously from them part of them, the country but in general of course I can talk patois and I talk patois all the time sometimes if I'm angry sometimes if I'm tired sometimes if I'm irritated or if I joke with my friend them from back in Jamaica I can talk in a patois it's not a Thing when we think, but we just do it when we want to do it and don't do it when we don't want to do it. Makes sense? Crystal O Skills wants to know Would you ever fuck your man in the ass if he asked for it? Do you eat ass? You have glorious boobs. Thanks for the boobs compliment. That's none of your goddamn business what I will or will not do with my man. I will say, in general, I think whatever two consenting adults want to do together, that's on them. Zachary Coronado wants to know What is your job? I haven't seen any videos with you mentioning what you do. And that's on purpose, Zachary, because my job doesn't know what I do here so I don't want that those things to affect each other so that's why you don't know what it is I do but it's not porn. Maya Little wants to know what's your bae's name? P.S. I love you and watch you ever since you're on Shane's channel. Thank you Maya I appreciate that. I've deliberately been referring to my boo as like my boo, my babe, like all that stuff because I want to give him his privacy. He, as he mentioned at the end of the last video, he doesn't want to be on camera. He doesn't want um, anything to do with the YouTube limelight and being in videos and whatever it is and maybe he'll change his mind at some point but as of right now that's where he's at so I as someone who loves him and respects how he feels is respecting his decision by not making his name and his image and all that public so the answer is his name is Boofing and you won't have to deal with it. Okay, that's it. I don't want to make this video crazy long. I just wanted to make sure that I had something fun for you guys to see today. Just know I love your faces so very much. Every single nugget who's been subscribed, who's watching, who's liking, who's commenting on the videos, it means the world to me. Thank you so very, very much. Please, please, if you're a citizen of the United States and you're over the age of 18, register to vote. It will take you a minute and a half. Literally, just play back the clip of me pumping my titties and just tell yourself that while this is pumping, you're just doing it for your country. Done talking. I love your faces. I will see you in the next video. Deuces. Hey, yo, Nugget, subscribe. <laughs>